this episode, we're going to have a look at creating an authentication solution that's not using device or from scratch. And instead, we're going to use Sorcery, which is a very lightweight authentication solution. One thing that's great about Sorcery is that it leaves a lot of the responsibility up to you on how you want to implement your authentication. So we're given less than 20 public methods to use and remember, and we're also not given any kind of views or controllers. Instead, it's all up to us how to handle it, yet the public methods that they do provide do make it very easy to implement the authentication. And so the authentication that we're going to build in this episode is going to be very simple where we could just sign up. And once we sign up, we can then log in. And we'll also be implementing the Remember Me feature for signing in. So once we sign in, we're then authenticated, and then we can access the restricted access pages. Whereas otherwise, if we try to go here to the restricted page, it'll prevent us from accessing it. And there's a couple of things that I really like about Sorcery over Devise, and one is that it doesn't use Warden. And that could be useful in situations where we might have a background job which broadcasts to an action cable channel. And typically in the view that you're rendering to broadcast over the channel, if there are any references to current user or anything like that, then the job would fail. And that has to do with the Warden proxy. And the funny thing about this authentication solution is that many years ago, this was my go-to solution. And over the years, I saw that Devise was a bit more popular. So I switched over to Devise, and for the most part, that was a good experience. However, lately, with staying more up-to-date with the Rails version, and just wanting to simplify my Rails applications, I'm actually having a second look at Sorcery as an authentication solution. And so a lot of things that you would need with Sorcery are under the core. And that gives you the basic login, logout, and things like require login that you can use in a before action to restrict access to a page. Anything beyond these basics, we can add in modules to get additional functionality. Whether it's a remember me, reset password, a session timeout, or user activation. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.